You may have noticed we have a new show leading into First at 4. You can now see the Steve Harvey Show right here on WBTV starting at 3 p.m. Part of our new afternoon lineup we're excited about. And leading into the new season, we sent one of our Steves, Steve <laughs> Crump, to talk to Harvey in Chicago where that show is taped. And Steve, our Steve, joins us here now. You got the right First one, at four. right? Steve Crump, Steve Harvey. <laughs> right, right. Steve right. Onisorge not involved in right, any way. Right, right, right. Okay, well, got yeah, it. The three Steves. Wow. <laughs> right. What an assignment, though, Jamie. You know, there's a lot that goes into that show basically from the standpoint of the production that's involved. And all that shouldn't be surprising simply because there's a lot of Steve Harvey. We got to spend some time with him on the set right here, as you see, in Chicago. And he's known for being a very funny man. But on the days leading up to the taping, Harvey weighed in on the situation in Ferguson, Missouri. On a rather serious note, he told us the scenario there has provided lessons for his own children. Hey, man, I'm, I'm sorry, but I have to tell my children, you don't, don't even talk back to the police. You have nothing to say to the police except yes, sir, and comply. I'll come get you out of jail, but go down there, don't fight it. Yeah, look, man, don't wear a hoodie. I, it's crazy, but I have to have these conversations with my sons. Overall, he's a pretty mm -hmm. funny guy, but you saw that serious side to him. And he will talk about any and all topics, won't he, on his Absolutely. Programs. You know, he talk about, he, he, we get a double dose of him because he's yeah. on the radio most mornings here right. on V101.9, where he weighed in on the whole situation in Ferguson. But, you know, coming up tonight at 6 o'clock, we go back on the set with Steve Harvey. We find the lighter side, and he talks about something, Jamie, that you learned a little bit about during the de daily detour here. What is that? <laughs> Swagger. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I haven't learned it yet. So I'm going to watch tonight, <laughs> see if I can pick up some more. It's a great show and a great talent. We're glad yeah, to have him here and a lot of fun right. to go see him. Well, you may have seen it here on WBTV, the season three premiere of the Steve Harvey Show. The comedian is known for his quick comebacks, straightforward advice, and the way he always leaves an audience laughing. Now he's got a hit talk show. And we were invited, when we were invited to go behind the scenes for a look, there was only one reporter we knew was right mm -hmm. for the job. It is our Steve Crump on Steve Harvey. Harvey, all new at six. I'm too sexy for my shirt. Look, and it's almost coming off. <laughs> Risque observations from Steve Harvey are often unscripted, and loud encouragement comes from a powerful source of inspiration. I pay all these people to stay here for these interviews. <laughs> yep, these are my people right here. Gotta love it. Yeah, they clap at everything I say. His flock is faithful, and they start lining up at the Chicago studio hours before the taping begins. She's great. I like his advice. Well, you to come on Season three right here on WBTV brings to life many themes that are near and dear to us. This show is not celebrity driven. This show is about everyday people. Everyday people like this group of self-described nerd bachelors in need of personal swag. And a father and son he sent on an all expense paid fishing trip during a segment called I Love You Dad. When you turn on to my show, I want to give you a break. His relationship with our city has blanketed the airways for years. Steve Harvey is one of the bright morning voices on Charlotte's V101.9. Over the years, he's had a presence at the CIAA basketball tournament. And more than a decade ago. What black man you know gonna keep playing with the damn ship going down? He hit the silver screen with the original Kings of Comedy. The Spike Lee film was shot at the old Charlotte Coliseum. I got a lot of history with Charlotte. I've sold out a lot of, lot of theaters in Charlotte, buddy. And sell out crowds are the norm. The last time I looked, we were uh, 300,000 requests. 300,000 requests. I love this segment, man, because I know how it is, man. Part of the reason is because Harvey's view of the world runs the gamut. Don't be ashamed to pray. From deeply spiritual. <laughs> to downright silly. However, but some this reporter couldn't leave without seeking some first-hand advice. As far as keeping it real, we both have the same first name. We both probably get our hair cut at the same place. <laughs> you have a mustache, I have a mustache. You're 57, I'm 57, but I don't have your swagger. So, so, so how do we work on that? How do you know, you were out here earlier and... That ain't gonna happen, sir. <laughs> so, I don't know what to tell you, Steve. It's just... It's a work in progress, my brother. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just... I'm just, it's too much for me sometimes. <laughs> oh, I think you've got your own swagger. That's hysterical. He, he could not help me. 
<laughs> but he's helping a lot of folks with this new book. It is called Act Like a Success. Yeah. Came out a few days ago. His last book, Act Like a Lady, Think Like a Man, went on to be That's the right. number one, one New York Times bestseller. You may remember there was a movie that was made based on that book, and there's a section in this book that he calls The Bomb in Charlotte. You know what I like about his show? Is it not just all fluff and pop culture? He really gets serious sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, he says it's not celebrity driven. It's basically real people talking about real issues. Yeah, and I love he gives really good advice. Yeah. The guy's, yeah. the guy's lived a, a, an interesting life, and he shares it. Very he's he's going to help Paul and I out with Swagger. <laughs> okay. There you go. Well, yeah. Swagger, yeah. what would that be? <laughs> and you're going to be back tomorrow morning, I know. Yeah. You've got more on your trip to Chicago. Yeah, with John and Christine. And uh, it's the show that you don't see on television. Oh, okay. That's 6 30 tomorrow morning on WBTV News this morning. I can't even spell Swagger. Sorry. <laughs> right. Okay. Right, Steve, <laughs> All right, we're really glad you've stayed with us here in this half hour because we have something very special for you this morning. All new, what happens when the cameras aren't rolling for the brand new Steve Harvey show? Mm -hmm. Our own Steve Harvey, Steve Crump. <laughs> to Chicago for He's the funny man, you're yeah. not. <laughs> anyway, Steve went to Chicago for a uh, look at the show that you won't see anywhere else. That's a tough assignment, tough, tough assignment. Very tough assignment, but what goes on here at this hour of the morning simply because you talk about, you know, the Steve Steve Harvey show, it's just not like any morning show. For the example, basically here you have Conklin, who's on his fourth cup of coffee by now. <laughs> John Carter, who's singing the App State fight song between yes. breaks. <laughs> and me covering my ears. There you go, there you go. But at 3 o'clock this afternoon, folks will see a very polished production. But if you're in the audience, well, the entertainment that we found in Chicago goes beyond what the camera's eye can catch. And you know, I've made a lot of mistakes in my life, Steve. When it comes to the Steve Harvey show, there are obviously two completely different versions. No. One we get to see at home, and the other is strictly limited to the Chicago studio audience. But at the end of the day, I try to put a smile on people's face, you know, let them enjoy life a little bit. Early on, those smiles arrived during what could be called an intense round of viewer participation. Pumping up the crowd as the daily chore for in-house comedian Ruben Earth. You know, a lot of times, you know, they'll get in and they're like, oh, I came to watch a show. No, you didn't come to watch a show. You came here to be part of the show. As the Cupid Shuffle stirs the senses right on the side, <laughs> one of the show's guests can be found in makeup. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's kind of cool how everything works, like behind the scenes type. Enter Steve Harvey, who is calm, smooth, and intensely focused. Backstage offers the final moments of show prep. As energy and encouragement comes to this audience, his confidence is unflappable, but it's reinforced by a supportive crew. Two. While the show has its on-air and close-up looks, Steve Harvey will tell you success here doesn't come through smoke, mirrors, or wild special effects. I'm a real person. I'm not, I'm not fake. I'm not going to be that. Smoke did find its way on the set due to a mechanical malfunction, but not before a surprise moment to the viewers and this group of guests. Remember the girl in the makeup chair? She went on a date with one of the show's so-called nerds and made an unscheduled appearance to one of the guys and agreed to go out with him again. The show is about everyday people. When the work is done in the control room, another unscripted side of Steve Harvey emerges. This one shares the meaningful lessons of a beloved mother. You know, she says, son, when it get dark for you and you can't find your way, she said, don't forget to pray. Don't be ashamed to pray and don't ever be too proud to pray. You know, that's one of the interesting things about this funny guy who's way over the top sometimes. Basically, you talk about his humor, but in many respects, he's spiritually grounded. Yeah. And, you know, in this particular group here, well, you all could take some lessons from that studio audience. Oh, can we? <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Okay. Because, because you two need to do the Cupid Shuffle. Uh, oh. <laughs> to the left, to the left, to the I left. I would pay money to see John do John the Cupid Carter, Shuffle. John Carter, yeah, yeah. Well, that the electric slide. Sure. out. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's on the two and four, Al. You know, the one and three, the two and the four. Oh, <laughs> Thanks, Steve. It's great to have you with us. Oh, yeah, it's great, job. It's great, great job. to see what goes on, you know, when you guys are unsupervised. Yeah. You know? well, <laughs> unsupervised. All right. Okay. Let's get some weather supervision here.